Here are the top 10 new features in Windows 11 24H2 update. The co-creator in Paint is an image creator that can generate images based on prompts provided by the user. Here's how it works. So you go here and type Paint. Open the Paint application. So you have these uh, enhanced set of tools, much more improved than previous releases of Microsoft Paint. To the right of it, we have the image creator. To use the image creator, you have to be signed in with your Microsoft account. So as soon as you click on the image creator, it's usually going to prompt you to sign in with your Microsoft account. From here, simply type a prompt and then you press create. You can also select different styles for these images, such as charcoal, ink sketch, watercolor, realist, photorealistic, and digital art, and so on. Then select the picture that you prefer. And if you don't like that one, change it to a different one. Then further modify it using the paint tools or the brushes or the shapes and so on. And the image generator in photos lets you generate that image directly in the device without having to reach out to the cloud. With a 24H2 release of Windows 11, there's new functionality that of live captions. To enable live captions, we go here to the quick settings or the control center as it used to be called. Then we click on accessibility and then click on live captions or now we can go on the drop down there's another page right below this and click on live captions from here as soon as we select to enable live captions it prompts us to continue the setup of live captions and we say yes to continue it will download the language files and then press continue then move this bar wherever we prefer it and then if we go and play any videos it will play those closed captions down below in this bar in the quick and the live captions option these closed captions are different from those of youtube whatever the content that is being played on the screen it's transcribing it for us live now this applies to videos from your computer or content that you are playing from the web copilot in windows 11. to access copilot click on this copilot icon next to the search icon on the taskbar and then if you're signed in with a work account you'll be working through the cloud copilot application if you're using a personal account then it will use the desktop version of the copilot so in my case i'm going to click here on go to copilot for work and at this stage very similar to open ai for chat gpt here we can enter the prompt so we want to create a marketing plan for an mba online program and then we simply click on submit we can also create images from here and this will most likely evolve from the time of this recording because ai is constantly changing and advancing and at this point, it's working to create, to design an image. Uh, if you use certain types of prompts, you can also create bar charts, visual representations of data. With the 24H2 release of Windows 11, there is a new function related to power settings in Windows 11, and it's called Power Saver. To enable Power Saver, click here on the Quick Settings or Control Center as it used to be called. And then there is the option for Energy Saver. Now this typically will extend the battery life in your computer at the cost of the performance of the computer. And this function will also be available in the desktop computer. To enable the Energy Saver in the computer, we simply tap on the Energy Saver icon and 
the screen will be slightly dimmer and the performance of the computer will be adjusted. Now to disable the energy saver mode in your computer, we click again on quick settings and then click again so it's not selected and that will deactivate the energy saver option in Windows 11. While you're in quick settings, you can click on the battery icon in the bottom left and that will take you to the power settings for your computer and you can change the power mode from here and the usage and what happens when you close the lid and when you press the power button and so on in your computer. With a 24H2 update of Windows 11, there is new functionality related to Windows Explorer. Prior to this release, if you right clicked on the file, you'd only see these little icons and didn't have the tags or the labels below the icons. So now with this update, you can right click on something, press copy, and then right click again, and then select paste. But it's more obvious as to the function for copying and pasting those files or folders. Same thing also with files. So if you right click on this, notice you have the options which are more meaningful at the very top here with the labels below them. And then if you want to paste it, in this case, it's larger. And in the past, it used to be a tiny icon without the label below it. So you'd have to know what it was. Now, if you held the mouse on it, it will tell you what that icon stands for and also what the shortcut for it is. With the 24H2 release of Windows 11, Microsoft has introduced Voice Clarity, an AI-powered microphone enhancement feature that will remove background noise when you are on a call or recording. So to get to this, you need to go to Settings. And then once you're in Settings, it will come up with something similar to this. You'll need to click on System on the left, then you go to sound and then select your microphone. Click on the arrow on the right hand side. And then you have the option here for the test. And also you have the option for the default microphone audio processing mode. Now this was a feature that was previously exclusive to Surface PCs with NPU's hardware, but now it's rolling out to all Windows 11 PCs. With the 24H2 release of Windows 11, there is new functionality related to creating 7-zip files and uncompressing 7-zip files. Prior to this release, you could actually extract 7-zip files, but you couldn't create them. So now to create 7-zip files, to compress them, let's say I have this folder with these files, and I want to send these files as a 7-zip format to someone else. But before I can send it, I need to create the 7-zip file. To create the 7-zip file, right-click on the folder, and then click on Compress to and then select 7z file. Give it a name and then hit enter. So this is the compressed file that you'd send to someone else. It will contain that folder or a bunch of folders that you may have within the folder along the, all the files, but it's one file. Now, let's suppose that you received this file and you want to uncompress it. You want to extract the contents of this 7zip file. You don't need to download any special program to extract them. To extract those files, you click on the 7-zip file, compressed file here, and then select Extract All. Then pick the folder where you want to place it. So in my case, I'm going to put it under Documents, and then press Extract. Once you extract those files, they'll show up like this, with a folder structure, and also the contents of the files prior to being compressed. You can now drag and drop pinned icons 
or specific applications into the taskbar, very similar to how we used to do it in Windows 7. So this, these are the pinned applications that I have once I click on the Start menu. Now, if I want to put the Notepad++ next to Copilot here in the bottom, drag this down and let it go, and it puts the icon on the taskbar from now on. With the 24H2 release of Windows 11, there is new functionality to create compressed files in Linux format or in TAR format. Prior to this release, you could open those types of files, but now you can also create TAR files from Windows. So let's say I have this folder with these files in it, and I want to send this in a compressed format in TAR format. Now to create a TAR format or a compressed file, you can right click on it and select Compress to, and then select TAR file. At this point, it's going to prompt you to give it a new name, or you can keep the name as is, and then hit enter. Now you'd send this file to uh, someone else, and that file would contain all the files and folders in it in a compressed format. Now let's say that you received a file similar to this from someone else. And once you receive the file, you want to extract the contents of this compressed Linux file format. So then we click here on the file itself and then click on Extract All. Then from here, create a new folder if you'd prefer, and then click on Extract. This will contain all the files and the folder structure as prior to the compression from whoever sent it to you. So that's how you create compressed tar file and how you uncompress the contents of it. With the 24H2 release of Windows 11, Microsoft is making changes to the control center, of the quick settings area. So if you click here next to the clock on your computer, you click on the control center, now, a new feature is these set of icons that you can scroll up and down. So we have here Energy Saver, Accessibility, Project, and so on. But if you click on this next page, that'll give you more options such as live captions, hotspot, nearby sharing, 